Thank you, Rabbi Cohen. What, a, what an honor. What an honor to give a Rater to such a hush of a crowd. You know, it's a, I'm not sure if this is a little bit above my pay grade. But uh, regardless, everything's a Shah Pratis. Obviously, if you guys ask me to speak, I must ha have something to share. So I'll just share a Rashi that really struck me very powerfully during Chitas this week. You know, people say, Rabbi, what do you do when you get to Vayikra? It's he's wearing Parsha, it's all these technicalities. And how are you going to get the guys interested in any anything in the Parsha? So I, but if you if you look inside, there's a lot of really beautiful messages uh, within Vayikra. And one of them, which just, which really stuck out, was I think it was yesterday's Rashi, which spoke about the uh, the birds. That when they, they they the poor person's bird, when they gave up, they brought up the mark of the bird on the mizbeach, they would offer it up with the feathers. And Rashi says that the feathers smell terrible. You know, you don't have to be anyone will tell you that burnt feathers is disgusting. Yet they still brought up the entire bird on the mizbeach, and the whole base of Migdash had a terrible stench in order that the, the, the poor man's carbon should look more embellished, it should look more full, it should look bigger, because the feathers would make it look bigger. So when this poor person bring up his bird, it should look bigger than it really is. So I was thinking, based on this, that you know we all have shuls, and shuls have budgets, and, 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 and we all have to cover the budgets, and there's big budgets, and one of the ways that uh, shuls raise funds is when we do auctions on, uh, on Yontif, uh, for, for Tishrei, you know, with Mafta Yaina and then the Illa, and this is where all the big guys get to flex their muscles and get to show how, you know, who's, who, who, who's bigger than the next, and it's very exciting, but then there's a, a lot of people in the crowd when this is going on that, um, that aren't even in that league and would love to give and would love to feel great, and they can't. They're not even able to. So one thing that we did earlier, which I did a share, is we, we, we divide up the Kibudim that we auction off some for cash, and we do some for mitzvahs. So, we'll, so we might do, okay, we're going to offer off a hagba for putting on tefillin every day for a week. Or for saying moedani in the morning. And whatever it is, or whatever mitzvah comes up, maybe it's doing three prakam rambam or whatever it is, or whatever fits into your, to your shul's criteria. But we started doing that, and, and it's, it's really incredible because now even people who don't have the financial means can also flex their muscles, can also feel like they're part of it. So even the minchas ani can be elevated. We see how much how important it was for Hashem to have the feathers burnt to show the beauty of the of the minchas ani. So we, when we comes yontif time and auction time, we should also think about beautifying the minchas ani. Thank you.